Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Bluetooth speaker is paired, but no sound or music is coming out on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go about jumping right into it. So down on our system tray, we want to right click on the speaker icon and select Open Sound Settings. Go down to where it says Manage Sound Devices and click on that. Make sure your output and input device, make sure it's listed in here somewhere. And you might want to test it here as well just to ensure that. And if there's some other weird device list in there, maybe you want to disable it. And if you scroll down a little bit on this back page that we just were on the sound page, it says choose your input device. Click the drop down here. Make sure it's your Bluetooth device. It's pretty important. So once you've done that, close out of here. Open up the start menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best result, should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And you want to go ahead and select additional troubleshooters. And where it says find and fix other problems, select Bluetooth, find and fix problems with Bluetooth devices, and select run the troubleshooter. So you can see our device actually isn't compatible with Bluetooth, so that's certainly a possibility in your case, which there's really nothing that we can do about that, but just giving you guys an option there just so you can see that. But anyway, that was a troubleshooting option here. And then something else you can take a look at too would be if you close out of here and open up the start menu, type in services. We went ahead and opened up the services app. Go ahead and open that up. If you do see a Bluetooth support service in here, go ahead and double click on that. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. And then make sure the service status is started. Select apply and OK. Do the same thing for the Bluetooth audio gateway service. Again, make sure that's automatic and started. And then apply and OK. So once you've done those two, you can go ahead and close out of here. Restart your computer and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.